few people have asked about the television that we had installed in our Costco Yardistry gazebo. I wanted to just take a quick moment here and walk you through what we have. Obviously, it's not a huge TV, but it's 32 inches, and this is a TCL, so it's kind of a lower-priced brand that you can pick up on Amazon. I think we paid a little over 150 for this, maybe 155, I think it was. Um, but again, you know, it's outdoors, and you could probably purchase an outdoor TV for a few hundred dollars more. But in this case, we've had this TV up for just about a year now, and it has been working perfectly. So I want to show you the mount behind it and forgive the red lights here. This is Christmas lights, but some people asked about the mount. So this particular mount here, you could see kind of how we mounted it. Again, the lights are in the way a little bit there, but it's sort of an, an L bracket mount that you can pick up off uh, of the Harbor Freight website or in store. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description. But what we've did done here is like a gooseneck almost, and we just mounted it with you know two lag bolts here into the top runner. And then of course it gets mounted in the back of the TV with this plate that it comes with. And forgive me for turning this around, but just to give you a, an opportunity to see what that looks like. Now with this television, it is 32 inches and it does have the wireless capability, Wi-Fi connection on its smart TV. So in our case, we were able to take that uh, Wi-Fi connection since we are close to the home and then we would use our uh, either a live TV or in our case, we were able to use our cable providers app, which is Xfinity here. And from that, you know, we would go ahead and choose anything on our cable program, you know, the full, uh, the full guides available. So just a, a nice, I think, addition to the gazebo and allows us to watch, you know, all the channels there live. As far as the fan is concerned, I also wanted to point out what we did here and I'll link up the description and the, uh, link to Lowe's that we, uh, you could purchase this fan. This fan here, I think it ran us about $89 and I think it's probably in Lowe's right now for about $99. I think they changed the design slightly on this one. I saw that the one that was released this year <clears throat> had a little bit more sturdy of a, a neck on the top, a mounting bracket on the top. But this fan is perfect for the gazebo. It gives you, uh, it's a three speed fan. It does give you some pretty good range as far as the uh the wind that it generates the the uh the air flow but um the one challenge with this fan is it's not remote control so if you look in the center there you'll see the round part that's the adjuster for the speed uh, we keep it at medium and you obviously can you know adjust it if you need to but it's a little bit tricky to get up on the ladder there and uh and adjust it every time you need to if you want to go ahead and change speeds but we leave it on medium and it, it works perfect for that at the top i just want to kind of zoom in here so you can see that this, uh, the Artistry Gazebo did come with a couple eye hooks, so we were able to use that one eye hook there and mount it to the top of that fan. And there's no wobble, even when you're on high, works really well. So again, I'm gonna link up into the description, the link for the fan, for the television, and I uh, just wanted to share that. So I'll go ahead and swing back around here so you can see the TV one more time. And up here, I will say too, with the television, there hasn't been any impact with weather. Now, we're in the Northeast and we typically get snow. Well, this year we didn't have any. But again, the angle that it's it's pitched at, if you can kind of see that angle, this, we had some really rough storms over the last few nights here and didn't have any impact on the television. Obviously, if it got wet, it would probably be trouble, but you could always cover it, you know, with a, a plastic bag if that need be. But I just wanted to provide that update for you. I'm gonna put another video up here a little bit, just giving an update on the actual gazebo. It's, uh, crossed the one-year mark with us and uh, some pros and cons and things we learned about it. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, certainly leave them in the comments. Thanks.